everyone, Secret Agent 99 here. I am going to be going over some things with my mod, Functional Displays, currently on version 2.9. I'm in Sanctuary right now, and I'm going to be showing you um, how to use the mod, what everything looks like, how to place everything, and I'm currently overburdened. So, uh, I built this little, uh, this is fresh from vanilla, I haven't even talked to Codsworth yet. <laughs> uh, just built this real quick so I can show you how to do this. Um, functional displays adds a lot of items uh, to show off your collected items. So we've got um, display boards, racks and mounts, we've got display shelves and cabinets, stands, cases and pedestals, and miscellaneous displays. So. Starting off, we've got display boards. We have several different sizes for different uh, sized weapons. So we've got one with heavy guns, large guns, medium guns, small launchers. Uh, we've got display racks, large, medium, small, so on and so forth. Uh, we've got tools racks for tools. We've got mounts. Uh, there are general display mounts for random items, and then there are mount, uh, weapon mounts for weapons. And then the newest addition from 2.9 are these uh, stands. So I guess I'll just start here. Um, these stands will snap. And um, as you can see, um, fairly seamless. Uh, I tried to do my best using vanilla resources to craft these. Um, they do take up a lot of your uh, crafting size, um, as do these walls and everything, um, because of the number of polygons. That's because I did not custom make this 3D I used vanilla resources and slapped them together. I do not know how to edit 3D models or anything, so. Um, they snap, you can snap as many as you want together, and you can place your weapons on them. Um, let's go ahead and um, <clears throat> place some of these up, and I'll show you how these work. Large guns, medium, small. Just place a bunch of them at random here. We'll do uh, uh, large, heavy. Uh, these also snap together. Uh, you can snap them above, below, whatever, however you want. Um, but yeah, they'll, they'll snap. Um, close those. Let's place a bunch of these weapons ones and general display ones. We've got weapons. Let's change it to T. Uh, weapons, they snap together so you can keep them nice and in order. Uh, I'm going to make those snap for the part. distance that they'll eventually not too bad. Actually, I, I think I'll leave it like that because then we have a choice and it's not too snappy where it's going to snap right away. So, um, <clears throat> got small uh, bounce as well. This one I will have to change and snap. snap. Um, Yep, we've got, uh, that's the general display one actually, and then this one's the weapon display one. I'll just show you a couple of these. Flash on so you can see. Um, <clears throat> we've got other items here. We've got display cabinets and shelves, so the shelves are. There are four for each kind. We've got large shelves, drink shelves, uh, large stuff, medium stuff, so and so forth. Um, yeah, I'm just placing those. Um, drink shelves. 
uh, drink cabinets, which are good for like uh, bars, using it as a bar. Um, yeah, we've got that. Um, we've also got wet bar displays, which are also Got um, display cases. We've got uh, a testing one, which is currently unlocked to place any item of any size in it. Um, it's for testing for me, but also testing for you. So if you're not sure if an item is going to fit somewhere, you can place it in here so you can see how big it's going to be when it places it. You'll also be able to see its proximity. Uh, by default, this is sized for small items so that you can see how it overlaps other small items. Also, if an item does not place in here at all, then it will not work anywhere on any of the displays, and that means there's probably a compatibility issue. So that is what this is for. These also snap. Um, now our display cases. These are for large items that stand up, um, that are tall, uh, and that you can showcase. We've got short displays for just regular old short items. Oh, that turned out. Um, small stuff, uh, regular wall displays. That's Um, there's one with lid and without lid uh, for this particular one. Um, we've got let's move these for random. Uh, tall display cases. We have weapons cases for heavy guns. We've got uh, large gun uh, cases. Got, uh, and these, by the way, these all snap um, on everything. Um, launchers, medium guns, melee, uh, throwables uh, like mines and grenades. We've got stands also, which are also snappable. So we've got these that are snap. Um, miscellaneous displays we've got the cryolator case with lid and without lid. We've got heavy weapon crates where the weapons will sit on top of the crate, um, which again are also snappable. That seems to be the theme here. Um, and that is because some of us are pretty OCD and like to keep things straight in a row. Uh, these are cool. These are drink crate displays, um, also <laughs> snappable. Um, <clears throat> We've got Eatatronics. We've got uh, key racks, which are not currently functional. They're just for show right now because I'm not done with them. I haven't figured out a lot of bugs yet. Um, we have mannequins. Um, female mannequin. Okay, so um, they used to be invisible every time you place them, but I think they're only invisible right now if you place them in an area where they can't spawn correctly, like um, too close to that rack maybe. So, yeah, so I think if you're too close to certain objects or certain boundaries, they will spawn out of frame. I think that's what's happening. It'll spawn out of frame. So, depending on where you place them, um, yeah, I'm working on figuring out why that happens and how to stop it. Um, yeah, so mannequins, um, but if they are invisible when you place them, just uh, pick it up and place it again. It should be fine. Um, Pool table, we got a rackable pool table display so that uh, um, quarter diners um, and refrigerators. Also snappable, but whatever. So I'm going to show you how everything works. 
this. Okay, so now we've got a pretty much one of everything in here, you know, give or take for size. Um, mannequins are pretty obvious. <clears throat> you just walk up to it, talk to them, place whatever you want to wear. Um, just do that. And, oops. Um, so, uh, yeah. Just, hey there. For the sake of speed, we'll just skip it. So, uh, drink crates, items. Um, I did my best to place items where they will fit. So, certain things you cannot put in certain things. So, you can't put food inside of a drink crate display. But you can put drinks. You have to put them one at a time. You can't put them all at once. Otherwise, this will happen. So, if I put 27 purified water, only a couple will show up. Okay? So, um... What you have to do is place only one at a time for each item, and that's because of the way the script works, and I haven't figured out a way to realistically change that script um, without being so freaking large and out of control that uh, I can't even understand it anymore. So, uh, <clears throat> let's see, let's skip down here, let's put Vans, Victory. The idea is that these aren't meant to be containers to hold hundreds of items. They're only meant to hold a few items because it's meant for display, for showing it off. So you pick your items one by one. Um, I would love to be able to just throw 20 of any item in there and let it you know, sort itself out, but I'm not that good of a monitor to do that. So, um, it also works with DLC items and mods, so I've got uh, Victory and Quartz in here from uh, Wasteland and Quartz. Highly recommended. Definitely go out and get it. Um, and as you can see, it uh, randomly places the bottles. Um, yeah, so I won't skip. I won't skip too much. Um, let's do let's do these mounts. So the way the mounts work is. Um, you just equip whatever item you want to show off. Now these mounts, the wall mounts, do show mods. The multi-item displays. So basically, if you see this um, transfer window pop up when you mouse over it, then you can only—it won't show mods. But if it pops up and says "Display your equipped weapon," then that will show mods. So. Uh, let's find a pretty badass weapon that we want to show off here. Uh, let's find a heavily modded weapon. That's pretty heavily modded. Um, whatever, that'll work. So, that one is clearly too large for this. So, I will take this particular weapon and I will place it inside of my stands. Oh, which I did. Let's go ahead and put those stands back up, shall we? So, I put the stands in the mounts area because that's where most of the weapon stuff is. And it's easier to find. So. Um, let's put it back that way. You. Oh! Here's a perfect example of uh, a, a bug glitch that I cannot currently fix, and that is this. And that is because there are items inside of this uh, crate, and it does not want to snap right when it has the items in the crate. So uh, place this item first, then move an empty item over to it, that, that'll work. Um, or take everything out, then move it. And, uh, it only affects items that are super close to the edge of its boundary. So the bottles are really close to the edge here, so their bounds mess with that. So same thing with these particular cases right here, the small ones. The nodes are close to the end, and so they interfere with movement. Uh, but the tall cases and these kind of cases don't have that. Ah, uh, where were we? Okay, so let's place some stands. Uh, 
Um, I did not make them snappable to the cases yet. I don't know why I didn't do that yet. But I will. Um, um, oh, they are also snappable uh, on the back as well. So, so I put this in the middle here. You can put them back to back. Okay, so let's place that uh, heavy Chinese anti-power mod, which is a uh, mod, by the way. Another highly recommended mod. And there we go. So those really tall items, that's what these are for. Well, not just that. Any cool weapon like a recon shield claws rifle, sword assault rifle. Actually, that would be better off. Um, and mod. Cases, heavy guns. Um, let's see what I have here. This, these cases right now do not show mods. I am working on right now, um, as we speak. Oh no, I'm not. I'm making this video as we speak. But uh, I am working on making the single item display cases show their mods again. Um, items, miscellaneous items for. Um, these mounts. So these are general display mounts. Um, I'll go ahead and delete some of these so that I can add some of the other sizes. Okay, so we'll add a general display mount. Large. There's... So um, these you can show off pretty much anything you want. You can show off a can of lemonade if you wanted to. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I tried to make it so you can show you can show off one of your rounds if you want, but unfortunately the way the game works is if you drop a single item, even if I drop a thousand of these, it'll only show up as one, and so it's going to show up as one single round on the wall, and I'm working on that, so. Um, you can show off a bowling pin if you want to. Um, but they work really great for small stuff, like, uh, free war money, and, uh, the lockets, um, so if you have, uh, quest items, small quest items, let's see, uh, here we go, a locket, 
know, things like that work great here. Um, my favorite things to put on here are the autograph baseball items. Those are some of my favorite items in the game. I'm not sure why, but they look really great on this. I mean, Signed baseball. Signed baseball. And the signed catcher's mitt. So, yeah, um, these items. I, I realize I talk a lot. I apologize. There we go. So, those look good there. Um, these are really good for items like. Uh, oh, you know what works great here? Are the bear trap, boom, bear trap. Um, what else? Um, oh, some really good things that look great here are uh, the death claw hand and uh, what else? Um, I don't know, random things like this, whatever. So, um, I mean, there's so many items out there that you can collect that look like they should be displayed on the wall, and you're like, well, what am I supposed to do with this? So that's why this mod was created. Where is the death claw hand? Where is the death claw hand? Oh, I think it's under junk. Um, these will move with the item, so if you try to move um, the display, the item will move with it. Um, let's see. Uh, I think this is just being blocked too much by all the other items. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see, electronics, food, food items, uh, guana soup, uh, noodle cup, perfectly preserved pie, uh, cram I think would fit in there. So, there we go. There's your food. Um, food, 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 food. Where is the pork knife? Food items can be placed into the porta diner. Soup, we'll put that. Lamp, and mac and cheese. We'll just put all this junk in water. And I did my best to try and make sure everything rotates so that there's no clipping. But sometimes, with the with the size of the object, depending on what you decide to put in here, there will be slight clipping. Because again, these weren't made for this. Um, pool table. Uh, let's go ahead and in the pool balls. Uh, part of my mod, I renamed them to Billiard because I'm tired of having one ball, two balls scattered throughout the freaking menu. So I decided to uh, put Billiard in front of each. I need one eight ball, and I'll do... The last two items that you want to place are your cue ball, and then either a Billiard ball rack or a pool cue. Um, because it racks the first 15 over here, which are going to be your, your balls, and then it racks the, uh, the next single node is right here. So number, node number 16 is here, and then 17 is here. So that's why it's like that. So there you go, you have a quick display, and you don't have to worry about picking up each ball, dropping it, picking up a ball, dropping it. But, um... What else? Display case narrow. Uh, things like um, uh, I made this more specifically for items that were like uh, jangles, right? So jangles, the moon monkey, um, random junk like the large microscopes. Um, the uh, well, I guess you could put this in here, but it's kind of a waste of space. Um, Forgive me, I have no order whatsoever. I'm not really the best um, speaker. This is actually my, f well, I don't know if it's my first time talking on videos uh, to nobody 
<laughs> I'm technically talking to myself right now until you guys watch it, but, um, oh, that would be great. Uh, yeah, so, um, the skull, the pristine death claw eggs, uh, the head, uh, that oops. Not everything is complete. I mean, there are so many items in this game. It is ridiculous how many items there are in this game. And there's just there is so much to do. So, um, let's see. Throwables. Oh, so a lot of people have mentioned when it comes to the throwables, things like the Molotov cocktail. They stick off the wall, right? That's There's nothing wrong with that. What you're supposed to do is place your actual hanging items and that's because I can't really edit the mesh of that because otherwise it's gonna be thrown all funny so just you know place your items you know frag grenades whatever um, oops um, so what you want to do is place your first 15 items one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen Okay, so your first 15 items, right? It's going to place the first 15 items. Then you can place your Molotov cocktail, and it'll stand up on, on here, okay? Um, then um, you can place other things, like uh, somebody told me that the um, bottle cap mine looked funny on there. Well, if you stand it here, it's not going to look funny, because now it's going to be the right side up. Um, and then also, um, bear trap is too big. It'll fit, but it's too big. So I don't recommend putting it there. Yeah, let's, let's take that bear trap back. Um, yes, so pulse mine, pilot mine, yeah. So, there we go. so that's your throwables rack, your, uh, wet bar to play for drinks. You can place cups, things like that in here. So, uh, mostly for alcohol, so, um, the first, I think it is, uh, it's, I can't remember how many items now that I'm thinking about it, um, and then just place your drinks, whatever you want to show up here. Vodka, whiskey, wine. Every home has a wet bar. Uh, back in this day. Okay, so um, now it's full. So I'm going to take two items. I'm going to take three items back. And then I'm going to place some cups. Junk, so it should be uh, drinking glass. Uh, I don't like these ones. Ugly. I like these ones. So I will place one of these. Uh, um, not yet. I'm gonna place a decanter, crystal liquor decanter first, just because I like the way that looks. And I'll place one of these and. Sometimes you have to open it. So there we go. So now we've got, because uh, the last three spots are meant for your current bottle that you are opening and drinking, and then two glasses. So just because I try to make it look used, not just, you know, whatever. That's our wet bar. Uh, drink displays. Um, you can place any drink you want. I'm just going to, for the sake of this, each one of these is going to show up as only one or two items, but just for the sake of it, time. I'm going to spend too much time on this. Alright, so. There it goes. Okay, so it'll just randomize this item. Uh, refrigerator display shows 35, if I remember correctly, 35 spots. So, um, this looks really cool, I think. I, I guess you're not supposed to talk about your own creations, but uh, 
As long as you add items, it'll keep, it'll continue up to 35. Uh, so that's the fridge. Uh, the stands are self-explanatory. The stands have been around since. This, I mean, this, they work the same way the vanilla does. Uh, cryolator. Right now, this only holds the cryolator. Um, eventually, um, it will hold more than that. It'll hold other items. Uh, this is for heavy weapons. Right now, it does not show mods, like I said earlier, um, on the wall. Um, I do not remember uh, if I have... Oh yeah, I do have Broadsider. So this will hold heavy weapons. It holds four heavy weapons, one in each corner. Um, I tried to do my best to prevent clipping, but certain long items, like the Broadsider, will stick off. Uh, crates. Let's put a heavy item in the crate. Um, this also currently does not show mods, but I will be updating it to show mods. Also, uh, where did that go? Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Let's put that. So, I don't know what's going on right now. I think I'm running a lot of heavy scripts. Um, I think that's pretty much everything. Um, so that's pretty much the displays, but this adds more than just displays. It also adds new collectible models. Um, right now there are 46 models to collect. Um, I felt that, you know, I love to collect items. I love unique items, and the Bethesda games have so many awesome unique items. However, for each type or each category of collectible item, there's not much. So, like, you know, you got your bobbleheads, and then the models, and then random junk, and giddy up buttercup, and, you know, there's... I wanted more. So, now this adds more models. 46 models. So, we've got Saltron, Baseball Player, um, Bloatfly, Chrysalis Coop, Rocket, uh, Combat Armor Guard, um, Atomic V8 Sedan, Death Claws, uh, another variant of the Death Claw, my favorite, Dog Meat. I'm probably guessing this is many people's favorite. Uh, model Boats. Uh, I will be adding ships in a bottle <laughs> as well. I will be adding ships in a bottle. Um, yeah, so this adds all kinds of stuff. Prime. Um, motorcycle. Also, if you're wondering what textures I'm using, because this is not a standard vanilla texture, I'm using a lot of custom textures in my game. Um, lots of mods. I mean, I am using texture-heavy mods. Um, and, uh, yes, yeah, so Mirelurks, Mirelurk Hunters, Mirelurk Kings, Mirelurk Queen. Oh, those are regular vanilla models. There we go. Pick her up truck. And then uh, one of my other favorites are the model pit boys. Um, yeah, uh, I will eventually be making a custom stand for this instead of this bottom one. But just to get it out to you guys, I kind of rushed a lot of stuff. A lot of this is rushed actually, and I stated that it is in beta and that because. Constantly updating. Even though Contraptions is out, is out. I'm, I'm not done with this mod at all. Um, if anything, Contraptions is giving me more ideas. Now I'm trying my best. Uh, I cannot use 
I will not use very resources from the DLC because this mod is now a direct competitor of that DLC and so I don't want to um, take too much inspiration from the contraption. So I will try and add things that contraptions does not have. Um, and all that. So here's a uh, model synth. Model T60. I will be adding a lot more stuff. So here's more models. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so 46, 46 collectible models and all. Okay. Uh, they will all fit pretty much in most of the locations that I have here. You can place all kinds of stuff. Just so you guys can see how stuff places. You know. Alright, that's uh, pretty much it. I mean, that's, that's a long video already. So, Alright, if you guys have any questions, you can always contact me on the Nexus. And, uh, have fun, enjoy, and uh, I'm always open to take uh, requests or ideas uh, for mods. I do ask that you please, please, please um, try and get, you know, read all of the known issues, um, read the comments, uh, read the install instructions, things like that, um, because this mod is getting way larger than I thought it ever would. I mean, I only sought out just to make these boards. That's all I was going to make at first. And it got so big and so many people have, you know, endorsed and, and just are supporting me and I appreciate that. Um, and it's so big now that I, I am a little overwhelmed and I work full time. I work a lot. And so, um, when I have to sift through uh, troubleshooting for issues that can be fixed um, by following the instructions, um, it does get a little frustrating. I, I am a very patient guy, and I appreciate your guys' patience as well. But uh, please, please help me by you know, help me help you by helping yourself first by reading the instructions. Um, but by all means, if you can't figure it out, you know, don't hesitate to ask because if you haven't seen already, I do not mind helping. I will help, um, or I will try and point you in the right direction if I can't help. Um, all right, guys, take care. Thanks.